right, everybody, welcome back to A Buzz With Your Cuz. We are back on St. John's Island. We're here to see the estuary, um, barley and or beans and barley. So they do uh, coffee and beer. And uh, we're looking forward to getting in there and seeing what they have to offer. I can't imagine many people drinking coffee today. What are we tasting first? This is the Ivantuan. It's a uh, German style Hells, which everybody knows I love Hells. Let's see what we got. Let's give it hell. Pretty good. It's got a little bit more hops than I would say for a German style Hells, but it's uh, very balanced. There's almost like a citrus flavor to it. Oh, it's easy drinking. Yeah, I which like it. Hells should be. It means it's pale. Oh. Right? In German, Hells means pale. So pale lager. Um, yeah, this not a typical flavor profile, but the drinkability for a Hell's is spot on. Nice. Alright, so this is the, the Noches de Mar. It is a Mexican style lager, 5%. Let's give it a taste. And they had a lot to choose from, right? They had a good 12, 12 different beers, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a very refreshing, very citrusy, very accurate for a Mexican style lager. Not bitter at all. Very right? easy drinking. Two pretty, pretty good beers. You I like go the first one the better. Better, yeah, you want to go to the last one, the Cowboy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Amber style lager. See that coloring. <laughs> good. It's got that little bit of caramel sweetness to it. I think you'll like, I think you'll like that one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good. What, three for three. What's the thing that normally when we go to a craft brewery, I'm like, oh, I don't like most of these beers. The hops. So Sometimes they over hop the beers. These are not over hopped. No, not at all. Uh, they do have IPAs and double IPAs, but they didn't take that IPA mentality into their other beer line, which I really appreciate. Yeah, I thought it was These easy drinking. Three, three for three, as labeled, is exactly what you got in your glass. Can't go ask for any more than that from an estuary. Behind us, you'll see that they have a uh, coffee roasting, coffee roasting machine, although I didn't see anybody buying coffee here, did you? No, no not it's all beer. <laughs> well, which one was your favorite out of the three? Three. <laughs> I like all three. Um, I, I like the Hells. I like the German, the first one. I did too. I did too. I want one. <laughs> That's the name of it. Accent included. Good to remember. As suspected, plenty of people, no one drinking coffee, although they did. we did find out they do have a coffee roasting machine upstairs. It's pretty cool to see. They have about 10 to 12 beers on tap. All of them were very accurate um, to their name. So they're very balanced. Uh, we really enjoyed our experience here. You know, full pours, or we did three ounce or, or tasting pours so that we could do more and then deliver more flavors to you. Uh, again, great stop. Outstanding uh, outdoor patio, friendly, quick service. Uh, highly recommend Estuary Brewing if you're in the St. John's area, South Carolina. Don't forget to comment below. Hit the thumbs up, hit that like arrow. Up, oh, yes. And uh, subscribe to the channel. That is your buzz with your cuz. See you next week. All right, so um, where's the camera? Are we looking at it? <laughs> Do you want me to move back so you can step up on here? No. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Ready. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Roll. <laughs> <laughs>